Welcome to another daily snuff out vlog. Today, we're heading to see Colin Jost, the co-host of the current version of Weekend Update. He is in the Twin Cities. It is Thursday, June 22nd, 2023. As you can see, I am back in my Toyota with the Star Wars seats. My Equinox, which I thought got fixed, is back to being broken. I was driving it to the cities. I got about 15 minutes out and I wasn't liking what the RPMs were doing. It was jumping around a lot. It didn't feel like the car had any speed to it. I set the cruise and it seemed like it was slowing down. I turned in the cloquet, recently gave it an oil change after a different issue. And uh, it seemed to have resolved things. Uh, overall, there's been a bunch of issues with the Equinox, but this actually seemed to fix it. There was an issue with the oil filter uh, the last oil change, I don't think I put it in there correctly, but this time I did a clean oil change. Everything seemed great. It was still having issues after I tried to uh, speed up a little on the interstate. And when I set the cruise, it didn't seem to want to maintain speed. So I drove it back and I could hear some rattling in the engine. It sounded like that timing chain was slapping around again. So whatever happened, it was not possibly installed correctly or maybe there's some other malfunction going on who really knows but that is for another time possibly tomorrow morning i'll rip that engine open uh just the valve cover on the top see what's going on see if the timing chain is out of whack again but luckily i got the car home that was the thing i didn't want to pay for a tow truck i didn't have to i didn't have to pay for a tow truck that was good took the back roads Went back about uh, 15 minutes back home. I was able to get it up my alley before the engine power was reduced. Got into my garage just as the engine was turning off itself. So a lot of wacky issues with that car. But this Toyota has always been pretty reliable. Uh, Toyota's, I mean, probably one of the most, to me, trusted brands ever. Doesn't seem like these vehicles ever have issues. Equinoxes, the Chevy Equinox, uh, though I like Chevy, the Equinox, especially the ones from 2010 to 2017, notorious for having several issues. Uh, this Toyota Camry is great. This is my first car I ever had. Uh, it's almost been a decade now that I've had this vehicle. It's uh, it's always been very reliable, but there's a lot of miles on it, and it's kind of reaching that point where I wonder if uh, this timing chain is going to fall apart. We'll see, but um, I got to say, driving it here, I haven't driven this vehicle in several months, and it was a smooth ride down here, so I'm feeling better about it. But I did want to show you, it's over 300,000 miles that's on this vehicle. When I first got it, it was, at, I believe, just below 200,000. So this vehicle's been driven a lot, and a lot of trips to the cities especially. Can't go wrong with Taco in the bag. This is just one of the stickers I'm getting. Uh, yeah. 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 Target Center. Mayo Clinic. We are in the what is this city called? I believe oh. it's called the Conquer de Chow. What is that? The steakhouse. My mom went there with dad. Here? Yes. Jeez. That must That's be new then. It doesn't look no, like something I. Eat it for her birthday. Well then. Is this called the. Is this the Mill City? The Wheat City? The city of Kellogg? I'm thinking probably everybody here might be actually going to the show now that I think about it. You can see it at the end right there. There it is. So I'm actually a bit shocked right now, but we're in. We're going to our section right now. We didn't have to lock up our phones. Pete made us lock them up, so... By the way, that angle I just had of you looked like the, the girl who's laughing at the fire in that famous meme, <laughs> so maybe I'll edit that later. So we didn't have to lock up our phones this time. Of course, I'm not going to be able to film anything during the I'm not going to, but 
kind of interested that they didn't make us do it. It's become a staple of these shows, I feel like. Well, I am home now. It is around 3 a.m. after uh, the long drive home. Uh, staying in the cities for a little bit uh, after the show. Uh, the show itself was good. Um, got to see a few other SNL, uh, some of the other people that are currently on. Uh, two of the cast members, Marcelo Hernandez, uh, who did really great. I thought a lot of his material was really funny. Uh, there was also uh, Molly Kearney and the writer, Alex English, uh, Colin Jost. Um, I thought a lot of his stuff was really funny. Uh, just an overall good night, you know, the kind of stuff that I guess you would expect uh, from what you've seen of what they've done on SNL. So uh, overall, good time. The State Theater itself was uh, extremely hot. I don't know if there's any AC in that building. I've never been to that uh, theater before, but that started getting a little exhausting towards the end, unfortunately. Uh, it was like, I was burning up and it was like a sold out show. So a lot of people in there just burning up. But overall, really funny. Uh, and now this is the second comedian I've seen who has uh, dropped a joke that has some involvement from Pete Davidson. He seems to be uh, the center of all of these comedians' lives for some reason. Um, uh, John Mulaney had a joke, a little moment where he mentioned Pete Davidson a year ago, and now Colin Jost did the same thing last night. Uh, so, yeah, overall, it was a real funny show. And, um, yeah, I for what the price was, wasn't a bad price.